Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. Peter Johnson at WheatPete, RealAgriculture.com, and darn it! We have stripe rust in Ontario. So kudos to Nicole Bucci's from Welburn Agrimart. She's the scout that found it first. And right south of St. Mary's, you know, I farm awfully close to St. Mary's. That means stripe rust in my area. Does it matter to you? It's late compared to last year. Last year we got it the beginning of May up near Ripley. Susceptible varieties, highly susceptible varieties last year, 25R46. In the trial at Ripley, unsprayed, 28% yield. It lost 72% of its yield. So when it hits early and it gets bad, it is horrendous. What about this year? Now we're heading out. We just start to see the first stripe rust. Is it a big deal? Stripe rust can ramp up incredibly fast. It's the fastest disease we know. If I had a susceptible variety, a highly susceptible variety, go to www.gocereals.ca. That's where all the variety information is. Check out your variety. If it's highly susceptible, you can't take the risk. If you don't, if you haven't sprayed a fusarium fungicide, get one on. Protect it from stripe rust. If you're dealing with a variety that's not so susceptible, it's a late infection. Yeah, you know, I still believe in fusarium fungicides, but you probably can get away without it, without the stripe rust being a big yield robber this year. Nonetheless, stripe rust, a new disease to Ontario, started in 2016, again in 2017. It's one of those things I think we are going to have to deal with every year. Know your variety, know when you need to put fungicides on, grow great wheat. Mm -hmm.